Hi fellow scrappers, it's Crafty Grandma here again. So I just wanted to show you a little uh, mini, the 3x3 three three mini that I made for a friend before I mailed it off. <laughs> anyway, it's um, I have uh, some decorative on the front. This is just some little little paper flowers that I put on there and doubled them up. And this is uh, says memories on there if you can't read it. And this is just some pretty ribbon that I had that I just put there and so of course some bling there. So then I made all the little cards and I just stamped them just to um, put some color on the top and then I have the little, of course, the stamp for the line so people won't have crooked writing. And I just different, different little stamps on each one. Um, there's a little mirror type of thing and I think there's something else here. Um, oh, the dress form. This is a cute little set I got. I can't remember the name of it because it's Klings. And I don't keep them on the same thing. I always put them in my books that I make. If I, if you want, I can show you that too. But anyway, this is um, the little 3x3 three three mini that I made up. Remember, I was showing you how to do it. And so I finished it, finally. <laughs> anyway, the, the, uh, the book that I make is like this. Yeah, let me get this back out a little bit so you can see. Here's a residue of what I stamp. I stamp off my stamps here. So anyway, this is if you um, if you get hard plastic in in which you when you get uh, you know stuff in the in the mail or uh, when you buy something and it has all this hard plastic, this clear plastic. It's not real hard, but it's hard enough that the clings will stick to it. So I cut it up for shaping and the size that pretty much they all are. And then um, I, I use this, this um, stencil cutting stuff that you can get for making quilt stencils, the packs. And there's like six sheets to a pack. And this won't, it kind of gives a separation for this uh, clings to go through. And then I put the... Um, the piece that has all of this information, I put it, I put it on the, I glue it, I stick it down to it so that I have info. This is the one I used and I don't remember, see the name is gone, so I don't remember what the name was, but I love these little stamps and they're all little stamps that I've used and uh, there's, they're just really cute. You can see the, oops, almost got it wrong. If you can see all the stuff that, that it has on there, which I always try to find stuff with the uh, Eiffel Tower. I love that. Anyway, so that's what I make. And I have my bind it all that, that binds it, punch it, bind it. And uh, then I can keep all my clings in one place and not have, and I can just take this and put it in my, my rollabout when I go scrapping or any place. So there's that. Then I got to thinking about Okay, that's made by a 12 by 12. What can we do with an 8.5 by 11? Well, this is what I did. This is a little 2 inch, uh, a 2 inch mini album. And this is all done with just plain paper. I haven't finished it all yet, but I just thought it was so cute. <laughs> you just cut an 8.5 by 11 to 8 by 8, and you do the same folding, the same type of folding that I did on the 3 by 3. Fold it in half, then fold the ends to the middle where you creased it. Do it the same way, cut it the same way, fold it the same way. And then you end up with a cute little book like that. I don't know what we can put in there. <laughs> Maybe the little one inch by one inch um, little photos that you get. You know, I thought that'd be so cute. My, my sister says, the pictures are going to be so small, people aren't going to be able to see them. I said, that's when you carry a micro, uh, what is it, a magnifying glass with you so they can see it. But I made all these little teeny tags, and I've, I've yet to decorate them up and make them look a little cuter and, and whatever. But I just thought this was so cute. And then I cut the Florida Lee from um, Martha's Punches and just some ribbon folded in. And then this is stickles that I used around the edges to give it some bling and because it's so small. But I just thought that was kind of cute to make and, and encourage you all to try to do it too. So this is just a short little video to let you see what I've been up to. Um, trying to do as many as I can now because this one, as I said, is going to go to a friend of mine. And then here's this little guy. 
I just think they're cute. So have fun with it. Enjoy. And I'll see you again soon.